All right. Um, so today we're going to look at library classification. Doc, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, good to have you back. Uh, it's been a while. But mm. thank you so much. All right. Yeah. So, as uh, aware of starting Doc, what? How would you define classification? Well, what is library classification? Well, to be specific, uh, uh, library classification. Uh, may be defined as uh, the grouping of um, uh, similar objects or things together and also at the same time the uh, separation or separation of uh, unsimilar or dissimilar uh, unlike things. But in, in libraries mostly we deal with both objects and also with the knowledge. So uh, library classification involves the, uh, the arrangement of uh, books uh, or information in various uh, documents uh, uh, grouped together for uh, uh, similar and similar subjects grouped together for purposes of uh, uh, easy storage and arrangement, and also for purposes of uh, retrieval, uh, identification and easy retrieval. All right. Yeah. So, um, thank you for that definition. So, we don't normally classify actually uh, books and so on, but we uh, we classify also concepts. Okay. Yeah. So, classification begins in the in the mind. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Where we arrange concepts, ideas, and objects that are similar, I mean concepts and ideas that are similar, and then uh, uh, we translate this now into the physical environment. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so why, why, what is the purpose of um, classification? Why classify? Actual classification is um, not only in, in, in the library information science. Mm. It is it's a, a, you know a, a human. Uh, uh, it it it's synonymous to all human activities. Okay. Uh, think of uh, you know in our homes we classify things you know so that we can easily uh, store them mm -hmm. uh, and then. Uh, uh, you know, locate them and retrieve them when needed. Okay. Yeah, you know, we, we, we see classification also being done in supermarkets, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, you know, different goods and items in supermarkets are classified and, you know, stored, you know, separately yeah. for, for so that the customers and um, are able to to locate them and, uh, and find them and you know, collect them and okay. use them, you know. Right. We, we, we see the same thing happening also in, in the dis different disciplines like in, the, in, in you know, we, we, you know, in biology, uh, they classify animals and plants and so on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We see it in, 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 you know, in geology, for example, minerals are classified yeah. according to their types and so on. Okay. Yeah, it's everywhere in mm. medicine. Yeah, in medicine is a classified. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, All yes. Right. You no know, different diseases yes, yes. Uh, according to the the nature of those diseases. So classification actually is based on the quality, the properties. Okay. Uh, certain objects have, have. those yeah. which have the same properties and qualities are grouped, grouped together, together. Mm. and those who, which have dissimilar properties and qualities yeah. are also separated okay. now why in librarianship do we classify mm. librarianship or library information science deals with the acquisition organization uh, storage and retrieval and dissemination of knowledge. Yes, yes. So that this this is a summary of what we all deal with in librarianship. Yeah. So now, in order for us to effectively and efficiently organize this knowledge that we have acquired, um, store it, retrieve it, and disseminate it, mm. we need to classify this knowledge. So classification, uh, the most important uh, purposes are 
for organization, okay. uh, arrangement and organization, uh, retrieval and dissemination. All right. Okay. So it's, it's easy for a person to, um, to to find something because it's been put in a class mm -hmm. um, that probably suits him or her. Yes. Yeah. So for a biologist, you just go to biology, but mm -hmm. if you are. Uh, an economist, for example, mm -hmm. go to the economics class and mm -hmm. you get what you want. All right. And in fact, the issue is uh, uh, when we classify, we, we consider how, what is the best way, uh, which is the most useful way of organizing this knowledge uh, so that the user can easily find, find it. Okay. Is it by, you know, because we can classify by color, mm -hmm. we can classify by title, mm -hmm. by author, <laughs> we can also classify by subject, or by size. Um, actually, uh, <laughs> something, something important has just <laughs> got to my mind. Yes. Um, RDA. Mm -hmm. RDA has brought something very important mm -hmm. with regards to subject, um, mm -hmm. where the good three entities of RDA, mm -hmm. which are object, concept, event and place, mm -hmm. would, would those uh, categorization or classification of uh, subjects qualify as uh, classification? What, what, what would you say about it? It can, when, we, when, you know, it reminds me of one thing about classification. Yes. When we'll be talking about the types of classification, yes. uh, we may be considering, you know, the types of classification one of them is what is known as a uh, faceted Plus, yes. uh, classification yes. uh, in which you are able to classify um, an uh, object according to the different, uh, from different sides or angles or aspects. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So uh, in RDA, the, it brings in the issue of uh, uh, what are the different angles at which we can, can look, look at things. Uh, at things, okay, okay? All right. uh, and that's a very interesting way, to look at uh, way of uh, looking at it. Okay, yes. Um, briefly talk about types of uh, tools and schemes that are used to do library classification. What are some of the tools that are highly used? Uh, the the most the major or the most important tool that we use in library classification yeah. is what is known as a classification scheme. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. and we have different types of classification schemes. Yes. That, excuse me, which right. have been um, uh, developed over the years. Okay. Um, we, 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 without getting into details, mm -hmm. uh, these classification schemes uh, uh, have been all of them have been developed on the basis of uh, uh, of subject. Okay. Because we find that subject. You know, most of the users, the majority of the users find it useful to okay. search for information by subject, mm -hmm. though from time to time they may search by title, by author, or uh, by, yeah, by title, by author. But mm -hmm. most often, I think the most useful ways of looking for information in, in, in libraries is by subject. Yes, okay. And uh, these schemes have been developed over the years and improved. Uh, the most important, uh, they can be categorized into three major okay. uh, groups. Okay. We have uh, hierarchical okay. uh, classification schemes, which try to, you know, uh, group human knowledge into broader categories, which are finally, you know, uh, subdivided into granular different divisions. Okay. Yeah, for example, um, uh, you know, in the decimal classification schemes, we have uh, 10 uh, divisions of knowledge, which mm. are the major divisions of knowledge. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, like general works or yes. generaria. Mm. Then you, 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 have, you have religion, you have uh, philosophy, yes. you have uh, social sciences, you have uh, sciences, you have... Uh, Technology, uh, technology yes. which is also known as applied science. science. Then you have uh, literature. Uh, literature, language. You have arts, arts yeah. and then you have uh, uh, history geography and, and geography. geography. Yeah. Now, if you look at each one of those ten broader classes, they are further subdivided into 
uh, sub sub classes into divisions. Then in each division again, you can subdivide that. For example, science you have uh, uh, mathematics, you have chemistry, you have biology, uh, uh, and physics. And if you look at uh, uh, mathematics, there are many sub 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 divisions of mathematics again. So you can see that uh, in, you know in, in uh, a hierarchical classification scheme. You have broader classes, and each broad class is further subdivided into uh, smaller, smaller, narrower classes until you get to the, the most specific uh, class, class okay. or topic. Okay. And now, the, the, uh, the example of Dewey as mm -hmm. a, a, a hierarchical yes. classification scheme. Yeah. Then you have enumerative classification schemes. Yeah. Enumerative from um, uh, the, the term to enumerate means to list. Yeah. So such a classification scheme tries to uh, to list all the topics <laughs> under the sun, if you may call it, okay. all the topics known mm -hmm. and uh, are, are listed. Yeah, and then they, uh, organized together. Uh, into a form of uh, a comprehensive classification scheme. Okay. Uh, an example of an, uh, a numerative classification scheme is that of the Library of Congress, mm. which has endeavored to list almost all uh, the subject areas. But of course, the Library of Congress is based on the... Uh, the Library of Congress classification scheme is based on the... Uh, the existing uh, collection of the Library of Congress. Mm -hmm. So it's the class. This is the classification scheme based on the literature okay. that is available yeah. in a particular library. Right, right, yeah. So it's based on what is known as the literary warrant. warrant. Yeah, okay. Yes, um, the. Uh, the Library of Congress also endeavors within that enumerative scheme, it endeavors to try to be a little, uh, to be hierarchical at the same time. Mm. Dewey also has those features of being uh, not only hierarchical, but also enumerative to some extent. Okay. The, the third classification scheme, uh, type of classification scheme, is a faceted uh, classification scheme. Mm. And this is a classification scheme that tries to uh, group um, uh, uh, human knowledge mm. and objects based on different, uh, from different sides or angles. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's a, it's a very complicated and complex but very interesting classification scheme. Okay. Uh, it looks at uh, uh, knowledge from different angles. Okay. Uh, different, to be faceted it means uh, um, you have one body but with many, many sides. Okay. You're looking at different sides of this body. Okay. Uh, um, uh, the best example of a pure uh, faceted scheme, uh, uh, scheme mm. uh, which may also be referred to as a uh, uh, a, 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 a synthetic analytical scheme. The best example is that of uh, Colon, okay. a classification scheme which was developed by uh, Ranganathan. Yeah. Uh, that's the pure classification scheme, okay. uh, faceted classification scheme. Mm -hmm. uh, some, some classification schemes like um, uh, Dewey Decimal classification scheme have got some aspects of uh, mm. faceted, you know, uh, aspects. Okay. Uh, others, uh, examples that are semi-faceted schemes is the Bliss classification scheme okay. and the UDC classification okay. scheme. Okay. UDC is derived UDC. from Dewey Decimal classification yeah. scheme, but it is actually, uh, it tries to bring in issues of a faceted scheme as well. Alright, thank you so much Doc for that uh, mm. very uh, well explained um, um, types of um, classification schemes. Mm. Um, can we talk about um, the principles of classification? What are some of the principles that uh, guide classification, like classifier when they work mm. on, on, on materials? 
Uh, I can discuss the, uh, the uh, general principles. Principle, exactly, yeah. um, there are some, uh, each, each, each classification scheme tries to bring in some unique or more uh, elaborate principles. Mm -hmm. But the general principles yes. of, uh, of classification, library classification, um, basically uh, one of them is that uh, documents should be grouped uh, based on the subject matter. Okay. Uh, so it looks at the, 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 uh, the content thought, okay. Okay. not necessarily on color, okay. Uh, on, on height, okay. <laughs> but basically on the co uh, the content, subject correct. content. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, uh, one critical uh, principle. Okay. All right. uh, the other critical principle uh, is that uh, of um, bringing in the issue of relationships between the different groups. Okay. So when um, the, the, the the in a classification scheme. Um, the, the, the groups, the groupings that we find there, which we may be call, calling classes or subjects, mm -hmm. must be arranged okay. in such a manner that uh, yeah, the, 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 uh, the, the, the ones that are close, they related to each other, are found together, together right. you know, next to each other. All right. Yeah. So we should see a clear established uh, relationship okay. between the different uh, classes. Okay. Yeah, within the classes and the, between classes, yes, yes, we yes. should do, identify those relationships. Okay. Uh, which brings in uh, the issue of uh, uh, the fact that uh, when these when this knowledge is organized, for example, on the shelves. Mm. The knowledge will be, you know, logically arranged in a clear sequence. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then the, the other issue is that uh, uh, each one of the groupings or classes mm -hmm. must be allotted an artificial uh, number, okay. which we may consider an artificial language, rather. Okay. Would yeah. It, okay. What, what? Which is known as notation. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All notation. Right. Okay. So um, uh, each grouping will have notation. Okay. So a class, a good classification scheme must have notation. Okay. Which is the artificial language for that classification scheme. All right. Uh, so each group will be given a, 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 a allotted a number, and then within that group. The individual documents within each group will also be allotted unique numbers that distinguish them. These numbers uh, or codes uh, or notation uh, uh, represent the subject content. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Of, of the documents. All right. Um, thank you so much, Doc, for, for another well-discussed um, aspect on principles of classification. What um, advice would you give to someone wishing, uh, librarians wishing to work in the in the cataloging department and they'll be dealing with uh, issues of classifying um, information resources just in a, in a minute or so? Well, most important is um, thorough uh, training. Uh, if you want to be a very good uh, Cataloger and classifier, mm -hmm. you must endeavor to undergo thorough training. Okay. 